Hey, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about fat thighs and a fat butt. All right. So if you know of anyone that has that, have them watch this video because as you age, you're going to find out that it's harder and harder to get lean, especially in the lower part of your body. And let's first talk about some facts in the body. Okay. Some, these are physiological facts. Number one, um, the most that you can burn as far as actual fat per week is two pounds. Okay, so you can't burn five pounds of fat a week. It's impossible. If you are losing more than two pounds a week, it's just water weight. So just realize that, okay? So two pounds is the most, and that's for a good, healthy body with a good metabolism. So if you're not burning two pounds, don't get frustrated. It could be just that your, your metabolism is kind of broken and you might only burn one pound or less as you build up your health. But the fact is that that's the most you can burn per week, all right? Now, number two, in order to burn fat, your body has to be energetic. It has to be sleeping. It can't be burnt out. If you're tired and you're not sleeping, chances are you're not going to be burned fat because it takes a lot of energy to get the metabolism to start burning this stuff off. So you really have to get healthy first before you can start losing weight. Third, in order to burn fat, you can't have cravings. When you're craving breads, pasta, cereal, what you're running on is you're running on sugar fuel. You're not burning fat. The way you know you're burning fat is when you don't have the cravings. And the way you get rid of cravings is we increase the greens and the potassium in the body by a factor of uh, seven cups a day and the cravings should go down. But the point is that you, there's no way you're going to burn fat when you're having these cravings and you're starving and you're hungry all the time, that's not going to work. Okay, next thing is the body will always build back the muscle if it, the muscle is wasting away before the fat. Okay, now what is that? That brings us to our next point. There's a huge difference between fat um, on your body and maybe cellulite, let's just call it cellulite, and atrophy. Now, atrophy is the wasting or, or sagging of your muscles. In other words, when a muscle is atrophied, it's sagging, it's weak, it's hanging there, and that's really what a lot of people have. And they think that it's all just cellulite and fat, when in fact, it's just an atrophied muscle. Okay? So, because the muscle's breaking down. Why? Because of the stress hormones of age will tend to make everything kind of droop and, and it's hard to get it lean. Okay, So when we're uh, trying to lose weight, we want to identify what the real problem is. Because if you think it's fat and you start trying to burn this off, you're going to be very frustrated when it doesn't work. So let's take a look at this atrophy a little bit more and how we can undo it. In the body, there's two things that happen. You have a breakdown of muscle and then we have a build, building back up of muscle. Okay, so when we exercise, when we go through stress, it breaks things down. There's a name for that. It's called catabolic, like a cannibalistic. Your body's eating itself up. So it breaks things down. It's a breaking down, catabolic, and that happens during the day. And then at night, when you're resting, you should build things back up. And so that's when you're burning fat, but that's when the muscle starts building back up, and that's called anabolic. And you maybe heard that from like anabolic steroids or something like that. But your body makes certain hormones that build things back up. So really, a person, as they hit the age of 50 during menopause and they get atrophy, they have a problem with this anabolic, catabolic thing. They have too much breakdown but not enough building back up. Okay, Why? Because the hormones are messed up. So what can we do to improve that? Number one, we do not want to exercise every day. You don't want to overtrain. You want to take less frequent workouts and space it out and get more recovery. So we want to recover longer. We want to rest longer. We don't want to exercise over soreness. Why? Because when you're sore, that means your body is still in a catabolic state. Okay. Now, to speed up the anabolic phase where we build back up the muscles, there are certain amino acids that you can consume at the health food store. And you can get these even as a one supplement. You have to find them. But the one that you need, and I would buy this as a, as a single source of three different uh, amino acids, uh, leucine. Leucine is an amino acid that helps restore muscle tissue. Isoleucine is another recovery amino acid. And these are proteins and valine, uh, which will also increase the muscle repair. So 
find a supplement with all three of these, and I'll, I'll type them out down here in the, in the blog. You can just click read more and get it. And then also you want the cofactors because there's also associated things with these amino acids that help them work better, and uh, that's called a cofactor. It's associated vitamin like B3. You need B3, B6, and vitamin C. So find a supplement with leucine, isoleucine, valine, B3, B6, and, and vitamin C, and start taking that before you go to bed every night, even when you're not working out, to speed up the process of recovery. That will help the workouts work better. And then you want to work out less. So I recommend just work out until you're, the soreness goes away. And it could be once a week. It could be once every two weeks when you start out. But as you do this more, it'll get better and better and better. The other thing you want to take is omega-3. That's that flax oil. Because the flax oil is really good to repair not just the muscle, but all the little uh, structures in the muscle to help you like um, the energy factories, the metabolism factories. So we want those omega-3 fatty acids to so take a little flax before you go to bed and these amino acids. You can get them from the health food store. Okay, so the body will build back the muscle first before the actual fats burn. And that is why people get frustrated because they think it's not working, but it's really working. Their muscles are getting leaner or stronger, but they're heavier. So the, the scale doesn't move but they're shrinking in size. That's a good thing, and that actually must happen in the beginning, especially if your body is broken down. So don't take that as a loss. Just go by size me measurement, and also go by um, um, maybe how you look, less sagging muscles. But, and that's why people don't necessarily lose the weight right away. It could take six weeks, it could take eight weeks to be before you start losing weight on some cases because the muscles are so atrophied that it takes time. Okay, so don't give up. Apply this information and send me your success stories.